Hello everyone, today I'd like to show you how I made the valve gear for my new solar steam engine. Okay, so this is how far I got on the previous steam engine video, but now of course it needs some valve gear to operate the valves. So what I'm going to make will be my version of a wall shirts valve gear, which you usually see on a steam train. I tried to keep it as simple as possible to build. So I started with making the expansion link, because you have to start somewhere.
I used a piece of Delrin here as bearing material and two Teflon rings under each washer to make it all nice and low in friction. You can see here that I had to change the expansion link a bit because the radius bar was blocked in the middle. Here I'm making the connecting piece to which all the valve gears will be connected. Only the high pressure eccentric rod is fixed to this. The eccentric rod will be set at a 90 degree angle relative to the stroke of the piston. This way I don't need to use an eccentric crank which would be a difficult part to keep properly fixed to the crank pin without it getting loose over time because I didn't want to weld it on. And in contrast to a steam train, I have a lot of space to work with. This Teflon ring I put under the bearing to fill up the space under it to stop the bearing from wobbling around.
Okay, so all these parts are now ready, but I don't have the valve advancement installed. I will do that later because I first want to know and show how it runs like this. So I made this template to determine the position of these hinge points. They need to be at a certain position from the crankshaft and in line with the stroke of the cylinder. So that seems in place. So I will make a few scratches here so I know where to weld them. Okay, so the valve gear mechanism works quite well now, and these neodymium magnets make sure that the radius bar is fixed to either position. And it will later make a system that will simultaneously change all three valve directions. The only problem now is that the valve timing is not really correct, because it will open the valve here, and here. But for the engine to run smooth and efficient, the valve needs to be opened a few degrees before that center. So to do that, I will need to make an extra arm, which will be connected to this point. Which will move this hinge point back and forth with the stroke of the piston. So let's make that. Because I didn't know how much the hinge point needed to move back and forth, I made an adjustable setup to determine that.
Okay, so this works great now. And uh, you can see that the valve is now opened a few degrees before that sender and that the valve is kept open longer. And I don't need to use valve cutoff because the expansion of the steam happens in the next cylinder. So it would actually make the engine less efficient with cutoff because then the steam pressure would be much too low when it enters the next cylinder and a lot of condensation would occur. So then I made the definitive lever arm with proper Delrin bearing. Here you can see that I made the length of the eccentric rod adjustable. It was a bit too short which made the engine run faster in one direction than in the other. So now it runs nice and smooth. And as always, I will of course make drawings of all the parts of the valve gear and post them on Facebook and Instagram and I will put a link in the description and in the comments. And if anyone is building alongside with me on the steam engine, please let me know and send me some pictures, that would be really great. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next steam engine video I will have the valve gear ready and then I will do the steam pipes and also the simultaneous gear reverse. So until that time, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe. 
turn on the notification bell and see you next time.